Hello all, in today's session we are going to discuss about the case third that is two isotropic sources of same amplitude and in a phase quadrature. So here if we are having a two isotropic sources, let us say this is nothing but a source one. So this is my source one and this is my I can say source two and I am considering the origin here which is nothing but the placed at the center of this particular sources and the distance here complete distance will be d and this distance will be d by two. So my source one will lag by uh, my source 2 and the you can say the path difference here is nothing but the d cos of 5 so if i consider the case whereas my currents are in phase i'll have the reference here i'll have my uh, source 1 e0 e raised to j minus j psi by 2 and here e0 e raised to j psi by 2 now here we are we don't have our sources which are having currents in phase but they are having a currents which are there in the quadrature phase so this is nothing but the condition when your currents are in the phase and this is nothing but the when your currents are in phase quadrature so there will be the phase shift of pi by 4 over here so my source 2 will have the additional pi by 4 here so e0 e raised to j pi by 4 plus psi by 2 and here again e0 e raised to minus j pi by 4 plus psi by 2 so these are nothing but the fields produced by my two elements which are having a quadrature phase now let us talk uh, about how we are going to get the fields so total field is nothing but the addition of these two fields so let us add these two fields together so e0 here if i am interested in the total field i'll calculate so I'll say the total field here is equal to E is equal to I can say E0 E raised to J pi by 4 plus psi by 2 plus E0 E raised to minus J pi by 4 plus psi by 2 which is nothing but the 2 E0 cos of pi by 4 plus psi by now as we know that e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta which is nothing but the 2 cos of theta. So let us elaborate this particular equation further and let us say that 2 e0 is equal to 1. So I will get a normalized field component. So en is equal to cos of pi by 4 plus psi by 2 which is nothing but the cos of pi by 4 plus beta d cos of phi divided by 2 whereas we know that psi is nothing but the beta d cos of phi so let d is equal to lambda by 2 so my beta d will become here 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 2 which is nothing but the pi so if i talk about the normalized field so e and here will become cos of pi by 4 plus pi by 2 cos of phi so here if I write all that things over here my normalized field I can calculate with this formula. Now let us put the different different values of 5 to get the normalized field. So here I have already uh, drawn or I have already calculated the values of dn for different values of 5. So 5 of 0 is 0 0.0707, 30.54, 60, 0. So if you plot the radiation pattern for this kind of you can say a source um, so you will have the placement of your elements is like this one and two the radiation pattern you will get is like this so this is all about you can say the radiation pattern with the equal amplitudes and the phase quadrature or having a sources phase quadrature now let's take one another example whereas we are going to change the distance these things we have taken for the distance lambda by 2 now here if distance changes what will be the effect on the radiation pattern so derive and draw radiation pattern of two isotropic sources separated by a distance lambda by 4 with an initial phase of 90 degree 90 degree means phase quadrature we can say but here only change is that d is equal to lambda by 4 so let us solve this particular equation so the situation is same only the e is changed so sorry only distance is changed so e is equal to e0 j pi by 4 plus psi by 2 plus e0 e raised to minus j pi by 4 plus psi by 2 we have already solved so we are not going to solve uh, this particular equation further because we know what uh, comes when we solve these things uh, so this will become 2e0 cos of pi by 4 
plus psi by 2 whereas let 2 e0 is equal to 1 so en will become cos of pi by 4 plus psi by 2 so i'll write the value of beta d over here pi by 4 plus beta sorry cos of i'll put the value of psi beta d cos of 5 which is nothing but the, this one now as we know that d is equal to for this particular equation we are having d is equal to lambda by 4 so my beta d becomes 2 pi by lambda into lambda by 4 which is nothing but the pi by 2 so normalized field here will be cos of pi by 4 plus pi by 4 cos of i'm sorry so this is nothing but the normalized field which i have got after putting the value of beta d so let us plot the radiation pattern for this one by putting the different values of the phi so if you put the different values of the five you will get a normalized field like this 0 0 30.11 60.38 90.707 .07, and so on and if you put the radiation pattern or you plot the radiation pattern your radiation pattern will be like this so this is nothing but the all about when you are changing the distance and here we are considering that our source is of equal amplitude but of a quadrature phase okay so this is nothing but the case three We'll stop here. Thank you.